Hello everyone. Uh, I'm sure you've actually read the uh, PDF that came with the easy bank method. You're probably excited, ready to start. Uh, one of the things that uh, Jeremy and I thought would be best to do is actually show everyone how to set up these sites. And uh, we actually even created a cut and paste, uh, some cut and paste uh, pages for you to add into a blog and an actual template for the blog. And I'm going to show you how to set some of that up right now so that uh, you guys can get started and start making money right now. Um, if you notice in the uh, zip file for the Easy Bank method, you actually have uh, main page source text, my score source text, and uh, the Easy Bank method PDF itself. And uh, by the way, if you uh, actually look at the uh, Easy Bank method file, you'll notice that. Uh, Towards the end, before I actually start showing how to set up the autoresponder, um, we've actually put a link in here to a site that we found that listed all the newspapers. That's the ones that we've been looking at. And uh, that's how we've been contacting newspapers in various places for, uh, for placing our ads. Um, the great thing about this is, is now it no, it's no longer uh, restricted by country by doing it with the method that we're showing here. Uh, anyone can do this, even in other countries, because it's only your only requirement really is a website. Um, so basically, in the zip file, you've got the page source for a couple different pages that we're going to put on the uh, blog. Um, the Easy Bank Method PDF that explains the whole method, and this right here is a car loan. Um, this is a template for WordPress. What you're going to actually do is just uh, upload this straight to your WordPress. Uh, to the WP Content Themes directory um, for your actual on your hosting account for your blog. Um, just go through cPanel and install WordPress like you normally would. If you have a problem, you don't understand how to install themes, etc., just Google it real quick. There's about seven million different pages out there that show how to install themes. Um, it is actually really easy. Uh, but what we're going to do mainly is we're focusing on how to actually set up the theme after you've already got it uploaded. So after we actually log into uh, WordPress to our admin section, uh, we're going to be at the dashboard. And what we want to do is actually go to uh, plugins. And uh, you'll notice we have no plugins in here, just the default stuff with the Word that WordPress comes with. And we're going to click Add New. And the first thing I'm going to look for is Exclude. And uh, if you scroll down, like the third one here is Exclude Pages. This is the one I typically use. Just click Install, Install Now, then click Activate Plugin, and Exclude Pages is installed. We're going to go back to Plugins and uh, just type Form, and you'll see Contact Form 7. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Hit Install Now. Tell it to activate also. And this next one you really don't have to have, but I use it. You type in FCK Editor and uh, click Search. And Dean should be the first one, yes. And what this actually does is it uh, replaces the default uh, editor in WordPress. Because the default uh, tiny MCE editor that comes with WordPress is uh, pretty, uh, pretty bland. But uh, those are the three plugins. That's really all we need. We're not so much worried about SEO traffic because we're going to be sending everything, uh, all the traffic is going to be coming from our ads. Um, so now basically what we want to do is uh, we've, uh, we've already uploaded the theme to the themes folder. So I'm going to uh, go in. You notice that right now the, the blog is actually completely blank. It's totally default. I'm going to go into appearance. And you'll see our theme right here. I'm going to click on the theme. I'm going to click activate. And uh, if we refresh the page, we should have our uh, blog theme up here now. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually add a page. And we're going to click Add New. Now, typically, by default, when you go to Page and you go to Post, when you first install WordPress, there will be a Hello World post. And in uh, Pages, there will be a default uh, page called About. Uh, just delete those before you actually come to this stage. Um, you don't need those. 
So what we're going to do, like I said, is click on Pages, then we're going to click Add New. And then we're going to go into the uh, Easy Bank Method folder, and the main page source text, I'm going to click that. I'm going to edit it. Select all. Then you can go back to edit. Go to copy. And uh, I'm going to pay, I'm going to actually click source mode here in my FCK editor, and I'm going to click paste. Now, when I click the source mode again, you'll notice we've got everything in here. Now, you can make this page anything you want. The title will not end up showing up on the page. So right here, by default, just click on the link somewhere so that you're touching it. And uh, get your credit report. You'll actually click on the link here. And right now, it's got a pound sign in it. You're going to take that out and just put whatever your URL is. Um, HTTP and, you know, make sure you don't have HTTP in here when you put your affiliate link in. Um, just the affiliate link. So what happens is, is uh, if you actually have an affiliate link and you do uh, HTT, whoops, HTTP going forward, www.mydomain.com, this would actually be your affiliate link, but if the uh, if you paste the uh, link in here and you still have the HTTP on it, just hit Control once and it'll go away. Um, but after that, you just hit OK, and now that link will actually go to there. And this link here, we have to make a page for it, and I'll show you how we're going to do that real quick. But let's go ahead and publish this. And uh, what we're going to do is go down to uh, settings. And we're going to go to reading. And we're going to tell it we want to use a static page for our front page. And uh, the front page is actually going to be New Car Loan, the one I just made. And I'm going to save changes. So now when uh, someone actually visits the site, they're going to see this. So now we actually want to go to Tools. And we want to go to Contact Form. And by default, there's one in here. This is not what we're going to use. What we're going to do is do Add New. And inside the zip file, you also see something called Form Source Text. I want you to go ahead and uh, edit, select all, edit, copy. And then uh, basically just highlight everything in here, delete it out of there, and uh, paste that form in. And uh, what you're going to do is the autoresponder email address that you used. And uh, if you look at the uh, PDF file where we talk about setting up the autoresponder, that's going to be the email address that you actually put in here. And we're going to save that. And you'll see Contact Form 2 Untitled. Now what we want to do is go and uh, make a page. And uh, we'll go to Add New. I'll name this My Score. I'll turn this to the Source View. And uh, My Score Source is what we want for that. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it. And what I'm going to do is that Exclude Pages plugin that we added, I'm going to actually take that out the check mark out of include this page in user menus because we don't want this to show up in the user menus. I'm going to click publish. And right here, if you see page published view page, right click on this and just copy the link location. Or you can right click it, open it up in a new new browser window and uh, copy just the URL. But either way we look at it, we want to go back to pages and uh, we want to go back to our first page and we want to edit it. And this second link, just click on it somewhere. And uh, here you'll notice there's a pound sign in here again. Um, I'm going to click Paste. And there you'll see the actual HTTP showing up. 
I believe if you actually click outside of the box, it will yeah see it will also go away that way too, or you can just hit Control, but uh, hit OK, and we want to update the page. And now, if we actually visit the site, you'll notice that uh, we have everything here. Um, this actually, if you look down the address bar down at the bottom of the page, it says mydomain.com. That's where we're linking to right now. This would actually be your affiliate link to the offer. And uh, right here, if we were clicking this, it would be the page. It would say their first name, their email address, and the score that they had on their credit score. And then they would click send, and they would get the auto reply from your uh, autoresponder. Don't worry about the edit here. This just shows up because I'm logged in as admin right now. Um, one of the things that you may want to do, and I recommend this, is actually to go ahead and click on this first link that's your affiliate link, and uh, go back to the link button, and where it says target, click the target tab, and s make sure it just says new window blank, and hit OK. Update the page again, and uh, you're actually ready to rock and roll. All you have to do is get your ad out there. And uh, there's a contact and privacy statements down here. If you actually want to add those to your blog, you can. Um, what you would have to do is actually go to appearance. First, you would have to make a page like we did with the My Score page and get the URL of that page. I would, I would, you, you don't necessarily have to exclude it from the menu, but I probably would just because it's already at the bottom of the page. And uh, we don't really want people to contact us or read about our privacy policy anyway unless it's really essential to them. And if they want to, they can do it from the footer. Um, but anyway, you could go to, you'd go to Editor and uh, click on the uh, Theme Functions. And you'll see Default Footer Content right here. If you go pass the quote sign and start right here and go all the way to right after this closing A and delete that and hit update file we refresh and it'll actually be gone from there now uh, did leave them in there just in case somebody wanted to make pages. If you do, you just have to go ahead and add the URL where the uh, HTTP um, tag was in the functions. Other than that, uh, that's all there is to setting this up. I mean, it's really easy. I mean, it's a, it's a video is a little long to show how to do it, but it's uh, a really easy thing to do. And uh, once you do it once, you'll be able to do it a million times without even looking at it. Uh, so that's about it. Um, hopefully this will help you set your site up really quick and uh, start making money fast.